Well, good morning. Oh, let's try that again. Good morning. So once a month, we do just a brief segment that we call This Time Tomorrow. And the idea is we like to uh, just spend a few minutes interviewing one of our members to see what they do and then to see how what they do advances the kingdom of God. The idea being that not only is what we do on Sunday important, but what we do from Monday to Friday is important for the kingdom of God as well. And so we're thrilled to have Tim Wagner. Let's give Tim a, a warm welcome. Tim and... Alba have been longtime members of Hollywood Community Church, and Tim works for JS2, which is an aerospace engineering company. So, Tim, here's the question. It is 10.22 in the morning. What will you be doing this time tomorrow morning? Drinking coffee. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tomorrow... Um, I, uh, in my industry, we actually have customers. And tomorrow, I'll be in North Miami Beach visiting a customer. I, I work there remotely on Mondays. Okay. So I will be engaging with them on some of the things that they have needs for and um, sharing my face. Uh, I have with several people there. They've engaged, and we've had discussions. So it's just cool. a, a matter of uh, the God opening a door mm -hmm. and being obedient to walk through it. So what exactly does JS2 do? What do you guys do at your company? And what do you do specifically? What do I do? I write repairs for aircraft parts. Uh, I design tooling, design test uh, processes. We cover anything from the nose of the aircraft all the way to the tail of the aircraft, so we support the full range. Um, I work for JS2 is a God-based centered company. Our, cool. our bosses put our, our mission statement it's all biblical principles. Mm -hmm. So I have the benefit of working for a godly, uh, company, God-based company. Cool. Um, my boss is actually Paula Renone's son-in-law. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah. excellent, excellent. So, so how do you remind yourself? So when you get in, and I know you're an engineer, right? You're an engineer, and so when you're sitting there at the computer and you're redesigning a part or something like that, how do you remind yourself that you work for the Lord even more than you work for this company? In my journey, life, God takes us through different journeys, chapters, and so forth. God has taught me to be um, watchful watchful for him to open a door for his purpose mm -hmm. uh, he consistently does that too many times we get busy in our jobs and busy in life and focused inward instead of outward and we miss those opportunities to share mm -hmm. Christ and what God is doing and possibly stepping into where God can minister to that person through just being there or planting a seed right yeah. so uh, my thing is just to watch and be diligent to always watching for God opening those doors Mm -hmm. And he does it on a consistent basis. No, no better thing than being in the moment where God shows up. And reminding yourself that in reality, he's your boss and you answer to him more than you answer to Paula's son-in-law or, or who else is there, correct? Jeff will actually say, we are, Jeff and I are friends, accountability partners. Uh, he is my boss, but he will be the one to say our boss is... Amen. It's the Father. Praise God. So, so how does your job, so e correcting parts or um, making new parts, how does that enhance and bring value to God's creation? How would you say what you do? So it's more than just helping the airline industry. How, how does what you do bring value to God's creation? One of my prayers on a daily basis is when I pray for my boys, I got two sons, uh, I pray that God send men and women of godly influence into their life. Um, and consistently, he has done that. James Payne, Mike Rittering, uh, Carter Edwards, there's just a list of men who have influenced our, our, our sons. Why would I pray that prayer if I was not in a position or open to being that in somebody else's life? Mm. Uh, my, where I work, we have several young men that are um, in about the same age as my sons, and I am able, as God opens those doors, to step in and be a godly influence. Absolutely. I'm uh, mentoring and growing them um, in their daily walks. Yeah, cool. And I know you've been 
a great influence in those guys' lives. But I would even say back, uh, pulling it back just a little bit, and the job that you do, actually sitting there and designing airline parts or using the gifts and the talents that God has given to you, because obviously you have talents that I don't have, actually talents far beyond talents that I have. And so using that to, so, so, so obviously that is advancing his kingdom as well. It's not just sharing the gospel, but it's actually using the gifts that you have, right? Yes. And it gets people where they're going. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Safely. Yeah. Yeah, so Vicky and I flew in a plane this week, and so thank you. I don't know whether you had a part of keeping that safe, but I'm glad that you did. That's for sure. One of our customers actually does the maintenance on the aircraft for uh, Samaritan's Purse. That's right. Yeah, I remember that, the plane that we flew down there. That's fantastic. So, so, so you talked about um, working in the lives of these young guys. So how does your job advance the kingdom of God then? Everything I do should be doing that. Um, again, we, we step in, and when I first met my boss, it was a meeting. I did not know him, and that, by the end of that meeting, I knew that he was a Christian. Yeah. And it's living out the kingdom. You have to reflect God in everything we do. Yeah. How does it change the kingdom? Um, uh, if I'm not changing the kingdom in everything I do, I'm not doing what, I'm not being obedient. That's right. So, so remember, Paul says, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink or exactly. make airline parts, that's in the Greek there, do it all to the glory of God, Amen. right? Amen. And so you've mentioned before, so what are some opportunities that your job has given you to share the gospel and minister with others? Well, um, one of the, is this, one of the ministries that we are reaching out in, and my, and me and my wife are actually cancer care. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a cancer survivor, yeah. Yeah. but it, it's not about me. It's about what God is doing. Um, he's opened the door to be able to step in, and through my work, mm. uh, I've mentioned the customer we have on Monday that I go to. I came back last week on Monday. Um, a lady came up to me and told me about her daughter had cancer. Wow. And um, my, my wife will step alongside of uh, help, seeing if we can help her and minister yeah. to her. Cool, cool. So tell everybody real quick before we have a word of prayer that, that you are starting a, I'm calling it a cancer support group. I'm not sure if that's what you want to call it, but you're starting a cancer care ministry. So tell everybody just briefly about what you and Albert are going to be starting with that. Uh, we just got back last week from training, and we're going to be launching a cancer care ministry. I um, know that we have a lot of people we've been engaged with over the last year, uh, but we both have convicted to go ahead and we need to get this to another level and engage with people that want to be involved with the um, ministry. We're looking for between, well, we're looking for volunteers that want to step in and be involved in this ministry. Mm-hmm. Um, there's as much about cancer care for the patient and the ministering to them as there is for the caregivers. Absolutely. For the daughters, for the sons, for the fathers, the mm-hmm. mothers. The, it doesn't, it, as much as I know it affects the patient, it also affected my wife uh, in a significant way. So we're mm-hmm. wanting to minister to them all. Cool, cool. So if you have gone through cancer, or you have a family member that has gone through or is going through cancer, I'd encourage you to talk with Tim and Alba because they're going to be kicking this ministry off in just the next couple of weeks or months or something we're like that. We're starting to get everything in place. Uh, we're, as we get the volunteers, we actually start a small group to be able to go through some training that we were taught yeah. uh, last week, and that will equip us to properly go out and know the right things to say, the wrong things to say, all of those things. Cool. We want to have a word of prayer today, and so Tim obviously works in the transportation industry, so here's what I'm going to ask. If you work in any realm of the transportation industry, so it could be an aerospace engineer like Tim, it could be that you drive a taxi or you work for an airline. If you work in the transportation industry, would you do me a favor and stand all, uh, all throughout the auditorium? Would you do that if you work in the transportation industry? Stand. So, yes, yeah, so we want to have a word of prayer for each of these folks. So, so, so I want to open that up just a little bit. So that's one group, and we're going to pray for them, so step, re, remain standing. I also want to ask this. If you have gone through cancer, or you have a loved one that has gone through or is going through cancer, 
would you stand right now? Because we want to pray for you as well as, as Tim and Alba begin this ministry. Look, all throughout the auditorium, it's something that's incredibly prevalent. And uh, we're excited about this new ministry. So would you pray with me today? Father, thank you so much for Tim's willingness to use his gifts, his talents, and abilities that you have given him to enhance your creation, to beautify your creation. Lord, to make life easier for us. Lord, as he works on the parts that go on the airplanes that transport us all around the world. And so, Father, thank you for him, and thank you for these other individuals that work in the transportation industry in whatever branch that they're in. Lord, help them to realize that they're not serving man, they're serving God. And Lord, I pray that you would use them, Lord, in their respective jobs, Lord, to do the very best that they can, realizing that they work for you. And then, Lord, I pray that you'd help them to just be great testimonies and lights reflecting the truth of Jesus Christ. And this morning we pray also for those who are going through cancer, have gone through cancer, Lord, caregivers of cancer survivors and maybe cancer patients who didn't survive. God, I pray that you'd give grace and peace to them. And we pray for this new ministry. Lord, as we start it, help us to be a blessing. Help Tim and Alba, Lord, to be a blessing to the people in our congregation who are going through that and are walking alongside of those who are going through that. So, Lord, we pray your blessings upon Tim and Alba and on each of these individuals. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you, Tim.